Flyvest Jerk revient pour sa 15e édition. Et comme d'habitude, la liste des participants est remplie de légendes et de nouveaux talents prometteurs. L'équipe Catch Whisker est la plus ancienne de toutes les équipes. Et cette année, Stéphane Choman Chumstedt retrouve son complice de toujours, Pierre Monjaret, à bord de son bateau. Pour la première fois dans Flyvest Jerk, nous avons une nouvelle équipe de pêche à la mouche. L'équipe Hardy Gray, avec Eric Muller et Jonas Holmes. L'équipe Kingfisher Raisin avec Mathias Vole et Marius Mason a troqué ses cannes light pour la perche contre des cannes à brochet et est prête à défendre sa place dans la compétition. L'équipe Gigard Dotnu avec Björn Bostrom et Jacob Hank s'est qualifié pour la compétition en 2017 et a depuis conclu le cœur du public, restant au sommet des classements. L'équipe Bullseye, elle, fait ses débuts dans Flavage Edge Jerk, avec Marcus Van Eu et Tim Ackerman à bord. L'équipe Frappes et Tricks, composée d'Anton Antonovic et Robert Walters, fait sa première apparition dans Flavage Edge Jerk. L'équipe Relax, composée de Danny Kovalchik et d'Andy Sibitek, que nous avons déjà vu lors de la dernière saison de Zander Pro pour leur première apparition dans Fly Vager. L'équipe Neistroft a fait ses débuts dans Fly Vager l'année dernière et Daniel Weyers avait immédiatement battu le record Big Fish. Cette année, Daniel est accompagné du plus grand de la compétition, Sander Grunenbull. Fly vs York 15 is brought to you by Leech. Polarized sunglasses for fishing. Watski, your online store for bowling equipment in the Nordics. Golden Catch, fishing essentials for every angler. JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting of warehouse workers and truck drivers since 2003. My favorite fly versus jerk memory is very simple. Holy shit! The pike I got last year, it was the biggest pike in 14 years of fly versus jerk. Oh, he slapped you! <laughs> oh my god! Ces dernières saisons, nous avons été gâtés par des gros poissons, mais aussi des nouveaux records. Mais cette année, les huit équipes sont prêtes à rentrer dans l'histoire. Congratulations to that 15.8 kilo pike, but records are always made to be broken. You have to be able to perform under pressure. You know, you're gonna have your ups and downs. You're gonna lose fish. You never know what's on the other side of the line, you know, until, you know, you get the feel of it. But the strike itself, magic. We both watched it from the first season on and, and are kind of addicted to it. And now it's a dream coming true. Everybody is a good fisherman. It's not about if you're good or not. It's, it's more about uh, in your head. You need to, to be focused from the first cast to the last cast. If it's only one bite, we will wait for that bite. Doesn't matter, we can cast 10 hours. I follow Flavio Jerk from the very, very beginning. And uh, if somebody told me that uh, I'm going to be in, in Flavio's Jerk, well, I would never believe. I mean, the show is uh, top of the top. Flavio's Jerk is probably the most difficult pike tournament that exists. We are really proud and it's a big honor to be the only fly fishing team. It's a big honor. Honestly, the worst thing that can happen to us is that Mother Nature won't let us to even go out on the boat fishing. Wish us good luck. Ah, uh, big fish. Are you ready? Let's go. Eight o'clock. Let's do this. It's time for the competition to begin. Keep on using. Keep on using, guys. Okay, so power, sleep. Let's try. Il est maintenant 8 heures du matin et la journée de pêche peut officiellement commencer. Pour cette journée, il est uniquement autorisé d'utiliser un sondeur afin de trouver des structures ou des poissons. Les équipes peuvent pêcher où elles le souhaitent en Europe. Et voici où elles ont décidé de commencer. Trois équipes en Finlande, une équipe en Suède, trois équipes aux Pays-Bas et pour la première fois dans Fly Vest Jerk, une équipe en Pologne. Everybody's already fishing, had their first cast, I think. We are still waiting. 35 minutes of fishing wasted. We're already waiting for more than an hour now. And it's opening, it's opening. All right. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go! Big fat boat and baits for a million. All is custom and cost like a trillion. Crossing the lake in 40 knots. Catching big, oh, yep. connecting the dots. 
<laughs> I'm not the one that's Andy, it's you. <laughs> he spent all night preparing lures and, and different accessories, I think, till like two, three in the morning, and now he can't find them. <laughs> but you know where they are. Maybe I have some extra somewhere, Andy. But things are very, very expensive on the boat. <laughs> Whether it's financially or favors. <laughs> but isn't that every fisherman? There's so many lures on the boat. No, he needs that specific one in that specific color, because if not, he won't catch anything or he won't feel good the rest of the day. Problem, my stinger. My stinger, everything, my car. <laughs> it's a really cold morning and the ice is building up in the, in the reel, in the guides, and every pike fisherman knows this. When you fish in really cold weather, it's around minus five, minus four. But uh, we manage, we manage. Wait, fish there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, okay. Net. Yep. Jesus Christ. Net, net, net. I don't have a net. Jesus. Net, put it in there, put it in there. Run, Andy, run. Wow. Oh, <laughs> grab my stick, Andy. No, boss. Oh, that little box. Oh, Very big problem. <laughs> I thought it was Lewis too. We yeah. came back for for weights. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Andy. <laughs> I'm going fish. Yes. It's like an addict. I need it. I need it. I need the 12 grams. I need the 12 grams, not 10 grams. It won't work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Net, net, net. I don't have it. Net. Jesus. Net, put the ender. Just the ender. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We have it. Oh. First bite. Not a giant, but good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Cool! I can tell you I feel it there. It was the bait fish on the yeah. shore first set. Ooh, nice Oof. fish on the, nice take on the double mouse. That was but good. the net. The you, net. You, you haven't fixed that one. Yeah, I don't know, you are the net master. Jesus Christ. But I like it when, when Pierre is saying, the net! <laughs> it's a fat one. Yeah, it is. It's a beauty. That's an eight kilo fish. Ooh, ooh nice one. I can feel it there. We saw the bait fish coming with a nice backwater and the take was so hard. She take it good. Good. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, take the ender. It's uh, minus five. It's really tough conditions. Everything is ice. So even the, the net, the, the stop here. Okay, just put yeah. it through, completely through. Yeah, I try and, to. And you twist here. You do it like... Yeah, yeah, but you can't. Yeah, but we do it like that. Like, now it's, now it's yeah. okay. First bite for us, not surprise, on the mouth. This one is a double, so it's just a bit bigger. It's quite cold and I want to have a really big profile. She take it really hard. Well, that was not a small nibble. It was like, boom, some, some take. Ooh, that's a fat one. Zero here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 107. She's eight kilo. I think so. Right. Now it's exactly 10 kilo. 10 kilo, that means 9.2. 9.2 kilo, 107, beauty from the river. On the we'll double mouse. Double mouse. Oh. Dirk Whisper, double tail. What we'll a take, eh? Yeah, super take. Put it back. Fly with the jack 15. Let's do it. The weather is really, I want to go back to bed. You know, they're on the bottom. Laying there, you see it? You see two there, just below the boat. I know, and that's why I'm gonna use Hulken. If the black pike doesn't do the trick, Hulken will. Right over there. We had three contacts over there. Uh -huh. I think we're going here in the deeper area, then we go there, right. yeah. around there, and then go back. Then we analyze. Getting back to the car and cry, is that an option? No, that's no. not an option. Oh yeah, a decent fish, decent fish, hurry up. What the f***? This is, this is a meter fish, man. Nice! Whoa! 
Sorry guys. Good first one. Good first one. Woo! Ah, nice, Jacob. High five, high five, high five. Kuma swim from Bite Oblique. Hulken is the color. BKK UVO hooks. I knew it would do the trick. There, 89. 89. A good start. Really good start. Nice fish. First fish. Yeah. You know, meter, not need. so much. <laughs> not a meter. <laughs> it's a meter minus 11. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a start. It's a good fish. Yeah. Uh, and let the hinger go. Let's catch some more. Good job, Jacob. Ok, il semble que les poissons soient actifs en Stade de ce matin. L'équipe Catch Whisker a attrapé un poisson d'environ 10 kg. Et maintenant, Bernard et Jacob ont attrapé un joli brochet de 89 cm. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui découvrent Flyvest Jerk, 3 points seront attribués chaque jour. Un point pour le plus gros brochet, un point pour la plus grande longueur combinée des 5 plus grands brochets d'une équipe, et un point pour le plus grand nombre de brochets. First cast, let's go! Let's not get a strike on the first cast. That's always bad luck, you know. Vous pourriez penser que l'équipe Neistroft n'a plus besoin d'être présentée, mais cette année, nous avons un nouveau visage à vous montrer. L'année dernière, malgré l'incapacité de gagner la compétition, Daniel Weyers avait attrapé un brochet de 128 cm, établissant ainsi le record du plus gros poisson jamais attrapé dans l'émission. Mais cette année, il est rejoint par un autre pêcheur néerlandais, Sander Gronenboom, et ils ont tous les deux pour objectif de gagner la compétition. What I like the most about pike fishing is the visual strikes that you usually get from them. It's always a unique fishery, I think, and you do it together with friends. For me, it's, it's not a, a single type of fishing. If you catch pike like you do, you do need a bit of friends to help you out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Big one! Holy shit! <laughs> one meter 28, still my biggest pike till date. And I think if I will not beat it this year, then it will still remain as my, uh, my best memory of fly versus jerk. Yeah, my best memory is uh, to be made, I think. Yeah. My very first time, so the pressure is on. We're gonna make something nice out of this. I think so. Our tactic is to try shallow in the morning, because there's not a lot of sunlight just yet. So we're fishing about two meters deep, over a lot of weeds. And Daniel's fishing a big lure. I'm fishing my favorite lure, the Nays Maze Runner. And I have a very special tactic for this, is that I'm using the gold blades in the morning, just like the color of the sunlight, this will create a lot of flesh with low light conditions. And overall gold is just insane for pike somehow. I remember last year, first day, catching nothing in the first episode. And then the second episode, boom. Giant one, yeah. Dinner bell time, four o'clock. Let's see what Let's today hope. brings. It's the same water. <laughs> Let's hope it works again, yeah? Yeah. Fish, huh? yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. It's a fish. It's not big, but there you go. And it counts. <laughs> nice, dude. Abba. First fish. Yes. Oh yeah. On the spinnerbait, maze runner. Always works, huh? <laughs> it's not very big. It's not very big. 67. First fish of the day. Yeah. Nice fish. Not a big one, but it's beautiful a fish. colors. On the maze runner, of course. Nice. Let's All let right. it go. Yeah, let's put it back. I don't want to say that that was a bite because maybe I touched the lock on the bottom. Yeah. Because that was, you know, like... Uh, there is a lot of logs also on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, not 100% bite, but I have a new lure, so I'm going to check it right now. But if that was a bite, that's not a good sign. Normally they have to bite like all in here. That was a strike. What the fuck? Uh, check, check, it's not, not, not a big one. Yeah. I don't know if you see it or not, but that was the first strike. But uh, you can see that it's uh, not uh, a big mouse, so it was like a small pike. And the strike was like, punk, very small one. And uh, I think I set the hooks pretty fast without any result. But let's make one more cast. And maybe Robert, I will ask you to cast that join, direction. Join also. you, yeah? Yeah. So guys, as you know, I wear a moustache. I think the one thing to go for today is the moustache rig. Jamaica. Yaman. Kingfisher Raisin est une équipe que vous reconnaîtrez probablement si vous regardez nos tournois depuis quelques années. 
Les deux Allemands Matthias Wohl et Marius Misson ont déjà participé plusieurs fois à Perchpo, devenant célèbres pour leur pêche spectaculaire en surface. Désormais, leur objectif est d'attraper des géants d'eau douce. Pour cela, ils se trouvent dans l'est de la Finlande. Sometimes you're too careful. That's why our boat is still existing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I always like to think about the decision before we do it. Oh, we have to check out the, the, the front engine. Is there a rock? No, it's two meter deep. There is no rock. We traveled a lot together, we fished a lot together, and we always had, had a blast on the water. And I like you uh, a lot about you that we always find a good solution together that works for, for both of us. You can really be enthusiastic about fishing. I like that a lot. Get really, get really into it and keep hammering. And so excited, and always the fun. That's yeah. that's that's the good part about it. So. <laughs> and I love moustache, but um, the main reason is you have uh, it pushes a lot of water. It's a smaller lure with some UV action. And I try to get the slow fishes to react to something. So I think that will work pretty well. Fishing it slow, near to the bottom, and down the edges. So hopefully no. the fishes will get them. Follower? No, he took it. Huh? He took it, right, but right under the surface. That's crazy. Sheet. So there are some fishes at least. On this spot, this is a big plateau in the middle of this water. There are some parts that are still completely filled with weed. It was really interesting. Uh, we noticed that the south side of it still has weed on it, on some deeper areas and on the flat areas and the northern side there's no much weed left because the days are not long anymore and uh, there was some big storms that put away all the weed and we caught here some nice big pikes. In the training we noticed that pikes are mainly more active in the afternoon after the sun is out a little bit so we tried for one big fish in the morning and after that we tried to catch some numbers. But it's crazy that we ended up on the same spot as the other team. Huh? Can't be a bad sign. We have around close to three meters, lots of weed. Should be a pike somewhere around. And that's where we got the one meter pike three days ago. And I'm pretty sure they make some jokes about us that we are too late. <laughs> it's more shallow and shallow, so 2.3. And the other guys also stand right on the, on the edge. Oh. Yo! Ah, oh, Jonas. Pour la première fois dans Fly Vesger, nous avons une nouvelle équipe de pêche à la mouche. Les novices du tournoi Eric Müller et Jonas Halls représentent les deux marques basées au Royaume-Uni, Hardy et Grays. Ces deux marques ont une histoire impressionnante. Hardy a été fondée en 1872 et c'est maintenant 150 ans plus tard qu'une équipe les représente dans Fly Vesger. The reason why we are here in this competition is to show you guys uh, how nice fly fishing is and how we can catch with the fly some big or huge pikes in really big uh, waters. The key to, to win the fly with jerk with a fly in our case is that you are so versatile concerning or uh, in the opposite to the, to the spinning guys that you are able to slow everything extremely down, ex especially when the, the temperatures are dropping or the, the fish are getting so much fishing pressure of, uh, in terms of spinning, we are able to present the fly on point for several seconds. Yeah, and also the difference, we can speed yeah. it up yeah. really easy. So we have millions of methods to present the fly. Also the sizes of the fly, we can change easily. Yeah. Different yeah, vibes, different movements, uh, especially in this big lakes where all the fishing pressure, the fly is something special. First bite of the day was definitely no weed. Just felt the strike and a short head, uh, head shake. Now, yeah, let's hope for another take. And we're here fishing uh, kind of huge backwater because, uh, as we told, it's a dam over there and the water streams, not, now it's no stream, they, they close it, but normally it goes over there 
and all this area is a huge, huge backwater. Some, sometimes it's uh, backstream, sometimes it's like now it's no stream at all. And what I think we need some stream to, so the fish will become a little bit more active and start feeding. But the day only started. Yeah, pike. Pike? Pike, yeah. Big one? Uh, no, small one. Small one. Anyway, better to take the net. First pike of the day. That's a baby. First, first baby. First pike. First pike. baby counter. Wow. V very, very unhooked. gentle bite again. Yeah, Oop. it's unhooked in the net, so. On small, frap gecko. Top five counted from 75, yeah? But it, you, you think it is? No, 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 it's super small one. Yeah, 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 small one. So yeah, we release it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I'm full of adrenaline. <laughs> it's, that's good, that's good. That's good, good for yeah, you. that's why I like that kind of tournaments. Bite. See, thank God we came back for those weights. Good fish, this very... This is big lures. This so no sm small pike. This big pike. So far this morning have been slow. I think Andy's only had one bite so far. This is the second place that we're fishing. We got this nice little shoreline, these tall grass intervals with, with rocky bottoms. We're fishing somewhere around three to six meters. It kind of jumps all around and we're just slowly drifting into each spot, um, casting towards the shore. I'm using the Yankee six inch and also the Capito six inch, anywhere from seven to 10 grams. Really lightweight, big game hooks, no stingers or anything. Let's see if we get any bites. Uh, we have some problems with the display of the fuel. When we start, we had 70%. That means 100 liter. And now the display shows 4%. So that's our problem now. Who? Okay, just got a test message. A friend of us is gonna deliver 40 liters of fuel. Hopefully, this will not affect our fishing and our strategy too much. So I will send him our spot, and then he will power us with fuel again. L'équipe Bullseye, représentée par Marcus Van Beu et Tim Ackerman, fait sa première apparition sur la chaîne. La société suisse de canne à pêche Bullseye a été fondée par Marcus en 2014. Elle conçoit ses cannes spécialement pour la pêche en eau douce et est ici pour mettre à l'épreuve ses cannes dans la plus grande compétition européenne, Fly Vest Jump. We are participating Fly vs. Jerk to have a really good time on the water and of course catch some really big pikes <laughs> and win this competition. The most I like on pike fishing yeah, are the strikes and the fight. The big head shakes, it feels like when you close the door and open the door and close the door and, <laughs> and it stands still. I love I love it. That's for me pike fishing. Our goal is to win Fly vs. Jerk for sure and I think the key to win such tournaments where there are uh, different points for different fish and combinations of them, I think the strategy is really important. Besides that, for sure, our beautiful rods that will set every hook and the lures that will make those pikes bite. We just arrived at the green buoy. It's right there. It's over there. This is supposed to be... This is the zone. A zone. Every time I reach that buoy, somehow around there, there's always a big one laying. Let's see if it truly is the special buoy. <laughs> You're truly my special boy. Boy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're a very special boy as well. <laughs> fish, fish, yeah. fish. Let's get the net. See what you have. This looks a bit bigger. It looks a bit bigger, but not much. See if it's, oh, that's, for, yeah, that's one for it's the measurement book. Yep, got it. Nice. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's not huge, but it's at the green buoy. And we're getting bigger. All right, are you ready? Yeah. It's like 80? Yeah, it's a little over 80. Nice. Yeah, it is 83. 83. Nice fish. Again, on the spinner bait. You got Daniel a little bit. Yeah. That's what pike fishing is all about. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the end all of right. the week, our fingers are going to be bleeding. But hey, nice fish. Nice fish. Well done, dude. All right, let's let it go. Go, oh, there he goes, ready? What we are trying to do today is to go for numbers. 
because this river system holds a lot of pikes. What we are doing now is uh, we're fishing whole max depth of uh, 9.8. We found uh, bait fish around here and the bait fish always moves around in that hole. It wasn't that easy the last days because as you see it's foggy, it's freezing, it's cold, it's... As you see, we need like this defreezing thing from the airport because it's just everything so icy. Sometimes the line gets stuck and it feels like it's almost like a strike or some, some fishes are touching the line, but it's just the ice. Guys, when you are out fishing, Enjoy what you see. Doesn't matter how cold, if it's rainy or not. Be happy. Check the view out and just enjoy the silence. Yes, good one. Fish on. Take the net, yeah. Good one. And now I just changed to bigger lure, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Where is it? It's That's in the net. It's in oh. the net. Giga Bugule. Who's a Huber? The first fish is in the net. So it's here and there. It's like a. There it is. What is it? It's a. No, oh, it's over here. 98, right? Yeah. Just changed to a bigger lure. I was really slowly retrieved. Six meters of depth. Just slightly over the bottom. And then this little beauty. Mm, took it. Duesentag, my first ever caught fly versus jerk pike. And I have to tell you, mm, it tastes like more. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but it tastes good. Good is cold. We haven't been in these waters for ages. We haven't practiced here, but we know this place. And it's always, you know, a, a, a hard thing because you don't know. One year ago we were here. <sighs> I'll go over to the trusty one. Hulken, 25 centimeters. This is pure magic. Yeah. What did I tell you? First cast, you know? Decent? No. Guys, this, this, is, a this is a decent fish. Down, down, down. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes! You know, when you get that feeling, you know, it's, it's Hulken time. You know? <laughs> yes! Yes! Pike number two, you know, you get that feeling. But look at that, I'll show you. Look at that. You know, how can you resist it? You cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. This is what you get when you put Jigen in the color hulk and with UV hooks, you know? Pike, they cannot resist it, you know? What did I think of, you know, not putting this on from the start? Look at that beautiful pike. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. There you go. I have, let me see, 95. 95 centimeter. Beautiful northern pike and pike number two. I said this one time and I say it again. You know, if, you, if I only could have one color, this is the one, a really decent one. This is, you know, 95 centimeters is a really nice pike to have top five. Awesome, man, two nice fish. Two nice pike, yeah. Really good, really good. I think somebody lost something in the line here. Something there. Ah, uh, doesn't matter, it's the Bustine. Please. <laughs> Strike for Gappy. It's a new color, really flashy. It's a nice bait. Oh, oh, oh! Off of it, ice and shit everywhere. Le parcours de l'équipe Catch with Care dans Fly Vest Jerk a déjà commencé lors de la saison 3, et depuis lors, ils ont été parmi les favoris et ont gagné plusieurs fois. Le nombre de lancers que Stéphane Chuman Chumset a réalisé au fil des ans est difficile à compter, mais une chose est sûre. Avec Pierre Monjaret dans son bateau, l'équipe Catch with Care représente une grande menace. We 
We have uh, been lucky to be on top four times in these competitions in the past. And uh, we have lots of nice memories, but I think the, the, the best memory was when we introduced the Muras mouse in this competition and Pierre hooked up a really big one up north. I think that's the one of the best memories I think. Yes, that this one was was, was crazy, yeah. Because we don't know what to expect uh, on that place and with that bait. Oh, we know that bait was good, I used for a long time before, but uh, but was crazy to just net that fish. Yes, 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 yes! It's still my personal best at the, now. And uh, hook that fish on competition is, of course, uh, it's, it's, it's so much uh, adrenaline and everything, so that was good. I missed one! Ooh! Did you see it, yeah. Rod? Oh, Jesus Christ. It was totally, I feel it. I, I was thinking, was it the reel because of the ice and so on? And I stopped and then I did a click. Boom! That's good. I had it on the rod, eh? You can't lose that one. It's so, you don't gonna have so many chances today. And it, this was a really good take. The second time the fish took, it was like, ooh, ooh. And it's really hard to use the jerk bait here because of the ice. It's minus five. The problem is really hard to use the jerk bait. Yeah. I try, but you can't even cast this. Look, the reel is open and everything is stuck. I know. I'm afraid to lose the bait also. Look, I can't do nothing with that. It would be nice to have a little bit less ice on the rod. Les équipes dans les pays nordiques ont du mal avec l'eau froide, contrairement aux brochets qui eux semblent apprécier. Aux Pays-Bas, l'équipe Bullseye ne connaît pas le meilleur départ, avec un indicateur de carburant cassé. Pendant qu'ils attendent d'être approvisionnés en essence, ceux-ci tentent d'attraper leur premier brochet de la compétition. Our strategy today was to catch a big one in the first hours. We were that close to it, but didn't work out. That's fishing. And now we change to smaller lures way smaller and lighter rods and try to go for numbers. Fish! Good one, good one. I think leader touch. I touched it. <laughs> Those guys are powerful today. It's gonna be a fun day, I guess. So we just started the second part of our strategy to fish for numbers. So this is what a pike looks like. Took some time, but the numbers came worked out really fast <laughs> so I'm really confident to continue with fish like this and bigger and there he goes first clicker pour qu'un brochet soit compté dans le top 5 il doit mesurer plus de 75 cm ce poisson n'a même pas eu la chance d'être mesuré mais à mon avis il était proche de les faire quoi qu'il en soit passer un leur plus petit a porter ses fruits pour l'équipe Bullseye Ce qui signifie donc que toutes les équipes, sauf l'équipe Prolax et l'équipe Hardy Grays, ont quelque chose à déclarer ce midi. For those of you who are interested in fly fishing, we will introduce you some, yeah, some nice tips and tricks and give you some information about how we fish and what we are using for rod, reel and especially the lines because we have different depth and different kinds of um, yeah, fishing in these waters. And one thing from the boat fishing is pretty important, the stripping basket. If you throw it on the, in the bottom of the boat, it will tangle everywhere and um, also on the other rods or some other stuff. So it's pretty important to have these, um, yeah, to cast the line out without a tangle. So at the moment, I'll try to catch some pikes on the bigger fly. This is around maybe 33 centimeters. Really slim because you can cast it much better than a fly with a lot of volume. So we have some wind and we try at the moment really long cast, quite fast drift. Want to cover as much water as we can. Let's see what we can do. I switched to a fly completely out of uh, synthetic fibers. It's a really bright one. I think that's uh, the road imitation, pure synthetic to get the fly a little bit faster down into the danger zone where the pikes are waiting. And it's also much easier to cast it through the wind because it's uh, no water is served in it. Let's hope the best that we'll get the first pike, pike in the boat soon. Okay, I see some boat 
on the horizon. It's already closer. I guess it's going to be our fuel. If you ever wondered how angels look like, <laughs> they look like this. They come on the water. They don't come from heaven. Hey, vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Danke. Tim is going to continue fishing. I'm going to fuel up the boat. Hi, hi, hi. No, no. You had no problem. Fish. <laughs> this problem. So far, it's a problem. Yes. We'll figure it out. Yes, next place. Holy crap, Andy. We're two hours into the day. Two hours? Two hours into the day, and we've only had one bite. Relax est sans doute l'une des marques de l'heure les plus connues ici en Europe. L'équipe Relax a déjà participé à Zander Pro, mais est maintenant ici de retour pour Fly Vest Jerk. Andy Pribitek et Daniel Kovalchik, le fils défunt du fondateur de Relax Lures, Witold Kovalchik, sont là pour nous montrer que les leurs Relax sont des classiques pour une raison. I am captain and team for Fly and Jerk 50. I agree. I agree. Andy's the captain on this journey. I'm a crazy fisherman. I love bike. My partner's a crazy fisherman who's a walking encyclopedia of fishing knowledge. Honestly, the big advantage of our team is Andy and his vast knowledge. For me, bike this very strong bite and non-stop action. This very beautiful fish. I agree, Andy. I love it too for those reasons. The heart-pounding strikes and the non-stop action on the water. The key for us to win Fly vs. Jerk is that we have a vast array of different lures and products. And what we won't do is what we never do in life is we never give up. We'll constantly keep casting, keep casting, honestly, to the final seconds of this tournament. Hopefully everyone else is having a crappy, maybe, crappy start to the day. Maybe. But Maybe this moment is not eating. So the hunt goes on, but trying to figure out what and where. But the only way to figure out what and where is to stop along all the places that you more or less know and test them all. Bike, 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 bike. Leader touch, leader touch, better leader touch. Leader touch yes. and in the net. Okay, that's even smaller. Another color of gecko. Have to be gentle with that small one, because it's gonna grow bigger. That's yours, my friend. That's yours. That's ours. Bye bye. It's we, like a warm up. We, yeah? we just start to wake up, guys. But you saw this one already took it in. Yeah. All yeah. the lure was in, yeah. and the heat, yeah. the heat was Two like like it's need to be. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui suivent Canal Gratis depuis un certain temps, l'amateur de pêche au brochet Anton Fisherman sera un visage familier. Depuis quelques années, il a parcouru des endroits extrêmes avec nos équipes, comme par exemple le voyage de pêche au brochet en Sibérie en 2020. Maintenant formant l'équipe Frappe des Trips avec Robert Walter, il est ici pour nous montrer ses compétences en pêche, en compétition. I don't know what about Roberts, but uh, I follow Flavio Jerk from the very, very beginning. And uh, like uh, many years ago, it was uh, kind of a dream. If somebody told me that uh, I'm gonna be uh, inside the project, uh, I would never believe. I mean, the show, the show Flavio Jerk is uh, top of the top of uh, of shows. Just fishing, it's become a little bit boring. Now you don't uh, shake when you caught a 10 kilo plus pipe. You don't shake anymore. But in a tournament like that, oof, it's another feeling. So you, 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 your legs start shaking again, and I love that. When I saw the teams which will be up on it this year, I think I will want to be over the team Jigger because I think uh, they are really skilled anglers. And uh, not more like showmen, but like really like skilled anglers. And uh, I think I want to beat them. That was I'm talking about. That guy is tournament angler. I'm a fishing guide. So that's my work <laughs> with the net. And that no, guy no. catches everything. Your, 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 your work will be my friend with the big pikes. We'll see, we'll see. Also, our strategy is that uh, I am working with smaller, smaller lures and Anton is working with bigger ones. And that's maybe can work out also on numbers. If we get lucky. 
I'm using this hose. It has a ball inside so I can pump. And now the hose is completely filled with fuel. All I have to do now is wait. Are we on the spot, Tim? Uh, the whole time. Okay, so what are the pikes doing then? I have two fish. Barge. That's a one barge. I think it's a perch. Oh, it's a big perch. And this <laughs> is a really good perch. <laughs> Welcome to Perch Pro. <laughs> <laughs> On our Liqueo, it's a very uh, universal for some bladed jigs or crankbaits, twitch baits, or something like that. It would be a shame if I don't show you this very, very beautiful perch. Beautiful one. Look at these <laughs> massive, beautiful perch. So now I'm gonna change to a little bit heavier chatterbait. And as a trailer, I'm using our Lameli Slim, it's called. A really nice shed, especially for sander and perch, but perfectly for a trailer as a chatterbait. And as a small tip, you can maybe try in case your chatterbait is running too shallow with the trailer, with the paddle tail. You can just rotate the lure, let the tail stick upwards. I hope this will do the trick, so I'm gonna fish a little bit closer to the weeds. Fish on! Good one? A small one, but a fish. You touch the leader by yourself? Yeah, yeah. So that's change with a heavier chatterbait and rotate the trailer instantly paid off. That's the small pike there. And that was the chatterbait. 21 grams with Lameli Slim, 12 and a half centimeter, upside down. Worked. So this is gonna be the second clicker. I don't know if it's if it's you know only me. It's feeling a little bit warmer, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's not as foggy as it was. Yeah, it's starting to clear up a little bit. Should we try to go a little bit more in? To the bay? Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah. Then we make a decision what we're going to do after that. Yeah. L'équipe Giga Dotmi est entrée dans Fly Vesger via Sportfish Masters en 2017 et a depuis remporté deux fois la compétition. L'amitié entre Björn Bostrom et Jacob Hank remonte à il y a longtemps. Ensemble, ils dirigent un magasin de pêche au sud de Stockholm. Le savoir et la passion ne manquent certainement pas dans leur bateau. What's the best moment we've had in Fly Vesger? What's your favorite moment? That crazy fishing we had last day in Fly Vesger 13, you know. I, this was incredible. Great pike fishing, you know, be the best when you have to be the best. Yeah. I was a net guy, but I had a, I had a blast. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Nope. Okay, I'll just leave my rod here. I have my, my favorite memory from Flyer vs. Jerk, all the years we've done, is that same episode, the last episode of Flyer vs. Jerk 13, when you start crying. You're laughing, you start crying. It was, <laughs> this, that was that was magical. Yeah. That was magical. Yeah. Okay. Take it on this side. I haven't seen it yet. Could be a very small one. Oh, it's a decent fish. Yep. Well done, buddy. Well done. Boom. Might be approved fish number three. Oh yeah. Oh right. yeah. I have the head, I had like 82, no, 81. 81 centimeters, approved fish, number three. Let's put her back. <laughs> Feisty. Jürgen is killing it, man. <sighs> Bye, hello, <laughs> come on, come on. Jump in. Big lures, no. Small lures, no. No one really was out in the lake at 5.36 in the morning to get that morning bite. So we're all kind of starting off with that, you know. Early, early afternoon, is it? Is there such a thing as early afternoon? Well, around that 10, 11, 12 o'clock time limit. So I think and I hope are having the same issues as we are in 
are waiting for that strike. Some bites in the afternoon, say around one, two, three o'clock, before we have to finish the day. Oh. Fish? Yes. Now we can take out that paperwork. <laughs> Said earlier in the day I was gonna catch 70s and 80s while Andy catches his 100, 110 meters. Patience and just keep casting. And do you know what color? I put that clear copper with that blue back on. I think that was my fourth or fifth cast. Yeah, this 79. Then the you fish. I know, but. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Andy. La patience de Danny finit enfin par payer et l'équipe Relax se retrouve maintenant pour la première fois dans le top 5. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Good. Bye, good fish. That's good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, that's yep. a big one. That's a fish. Yeah, we have it. Nice bite. Good job. Not a big one, but nice to get a bite. It was a good take. Again on the double mouse. It's good. I think it's a little bit crazy because it's so cold. Minus five degrees. We have three contact and two fish in the net already. I think it's longer than 85. I no, no, it's, it's not. It's over, over uh, nearly 90, I think. Zero, yeah. You have? Yeah, zero. Uh, 89. 89. Nice one again on the double mouse, 89, but that's good. It's a nice fish. She take it hard, so it's good. We have, like, it's the third contact we have. Truman lost one on the on Goopy also just before. So, yeah, it's good. I think we have a chance to catch more fish. So, put it back and we keep on going. It's nice fish. Bye bye. Nice one. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Yeah, have a, have a look on you to your phone, good. but I think it's. I will check it's the phone real quick. It's not good because there is eight meters. I will check the phone real quick and then we are sure. We are fishing there and going there and see that it's too deep for a... Fish. Good one. Oh, it's a small one. What a fish. But long head shakes. Let me know, I can get the next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, no. 75 maybe? No, no. A little touched. Maybe a 70 pike. Quick unhooking in the water. Put him on the measure board if you're not sure. Doesn't take too much time. Ah, well, maybe it's. Hey! <laughs> it's 77. Hey. Just one for the numbers, but it's 77, so we can put it onto our top five. But hopefully, at the end of the day, it will be only a small for the clicker, but a really nice pike. Some green marks. It was really cool. Fishing with my dentist 2 meter 20. And that was my first pike in fly versus jerk. So here's the clicker, here's the lure. Some good tips for you. I fish this lure often on this one because there's a more rolling action. And I have two of small tungsten weights, maybe then a five, two times five gram. And so I can fish it a little bit more deeper over the weights until yeah two and a half meter and i have also a nice uh, rolling action and in the past days we checked that this rolling action is something unnormal which they don't see so it works and for more tips visit learn to fish avec leur premier brochet dans le top 5 et un peu de carburant dans leur réservoir, les choses commencent à s'améliorer pour l'équipe Bullseye. Jusqu'à présent, il y avait un léger avantage pour les équipes qui pêchaient dans les pays nordiques. Mais comme souvent dans la pêche du brochet, tout se joue dans la patience. Oh, after I caught that first fish, I'm sticking with what I was doing. I figured it just took a while to get a bite, so if I don't get any type of other reactions in like an hour or two, then I'll make some slight adjustment and changes whether it'll be in colors or grams. Then, and it is slow, fast, slow. Then, no, slow. Everything fast. Do you think the fish move slow in the water? <laughs> you ever see bigger, voo, voo, voo? The hell if I go like this? He'll catch up with it. <laughs> then, no disco, this, no disco, this fishing, no disco. <laughs> 
Slowly, slowly. No, this day fishing. Sway and jerk. La vitesse d'animation du leurre est un sujet compliqué au sein de l'équipe Prolax. Et les deux coéquipiers ne sont pas totalement sur la même longueur d'onde. Mais peut-être que là est la recette du succès. L'un pêche rapidement et l'autre lentement. Perfect schlag. Again. Moustache. Moustache Rick. Go and get him, Jay. Oh! That hurts! I've got some pain because uh, I broke my rib. The funny thing is, it was we tried to refill the tank from the boat. Yeah! Yes. Good one? No, uh, at least a fish. Need a touch. Need a touch. Yes. Oh. As you see, there's another hooser. Thanks for that, Timpassi. You want to have it? No. Touch it. Ah. Ah. Perfect schlag. Now the party starts. Maybe they like bigger lures. Yeah, that was my first fish. Mustache, mustache rig, as you see, it works. Now we come back to the pain, so it's a pain in the dude. Because we tried to refill the tank and I put all I've got in the in the back of the boat and there was one hit that really hurts and Did you punch me? he said. <laughs> yeah it felt like it felt like hell. It was I thought Marius hit me just because I'm stupid sometimes, but he didn't. Yeah, and right now I have to deal with it and it works. It works. We have a big chance. And when you have a dream, you will also accept some pain for that. So keep on using. Let's do it and try to get some pikes. No, too much ice. But it looks very nice. To roll up the field. From behind, you first have to get behind. I don't know if that's English or not. There was a bite. There was a bite. Right in front of us. Yeah, maybe they start on, get on a little bit later today. It feels like that they are just nibbling. Push, big push. They're so powerful today. They fight like hell. <laughs> they go in the drag even. If they're pretty small, so I hope it's not gonna tangle up completely. Nice one, Tim. Next clicker. We can measure it, but I think it's only around 70, not 75. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too small. No? <laughs> you see? It's 75. So, we continue with the top five of this really beautiful Dutch pikes. Deux poissons dans le top 5 pour l'équipe Bullseye qui pêche dans les Pays-Bas où il fait plus chaud. Il y a de grands contrastes météorologiques entre les équipes aujourd'hui. Le froid a gagné l'Europe du Nord, juste à temps pour la compétition cette année. The temperature is 7.1. It's a deep hole here. Normally it's uh, an eddy. No current between two strong currents. Behind the island here it's, it's uh, not so much current and a little bit deeper should contain uh, some bait fish and hopefully a uh, nice fish. For me, this is not good. I want some sun now when, when it's so uh, cold and late in the, in the autumn. Beginning of winter actually up here. So uh, hopefully the sun breaks through and, and we get a little bit more heat. We need that for the gears, for the fish and everything. Fish, fish! It's no, no. Yeah, we have it. I said it's always something here. I was casting just on the edge of the stream. And I think the fish was falling. Good, I switch to the same uh, color. Double tail, slowly, slowly, schmack. Perfecto. Ah, uh, but that's good fish, 90 plus. You think? Yeah. Uh, 98. 98. 99. 99. No, 90, uh, yeah, 90, no, 99. Yeah, yeah, 99. Yeah, 99. Zero, yeah. Yeah, 99. Yeah. Ah, it's nice, huh? Number three. Number three. Good, that's good really size
This is seven kilo, I think. I'm thinking we have a decent score at the moment. But it, it is hard to say. As we, as we said before, we know CWC. Okay, this is either L'équipe Gigard a tenu, passe une très bonne matinée. Tout comme même le dire Danny de l'équipe Relax, un très bon début d'après-midi. Nous approchons du rapport de midi et Björn et Jacob sont pour le moment les seuls avec un top 5 complet. Yep, yep, I saw the strike. Pike, 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 pike. Here, this. Okay. He don't even give me uh, a chance to make a cast. <laughs> We start to warm up. I just saw that it was following and, and make, made a turn near the boat. Not, not, not the hugest one, but anyways, it's it worked out. Take care about your small gecko. It's it's uh, new custom colors. Oh, nice spiky. Nice spiky. Nice Imagine spiky. the same 10 plus kg. <laughs> <laughs> There will be 25, 25 colors coming out, yeah. And the col colors are all are amazing. You want to just try the next one, the next one, the next one. But this is this is really good one. Hey, my friend, calm down a little bit. Let me let me make a cast. Okay, okay, that's good. You can you can do that. But you noticed uh, it's the place where the backwater starts. Yes. This is this is a bit calmer than we started. Yeah, yeah 10 meters away we have yeah. current, and here it's already back current a little bit. And the bites also started in this region. Yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful scenery and all the screens are off. So we have time and opportunity to, to look at that beautiful nature. Ah, there it's coming. Nice. Thanks, man. Okay, keep on fishing, I'll do it. Thanks. Thank you. We just decided to stay 10 more minutes because we haven't fished this edge here. So um, it's not a biggie, but it's a fish. And he inhaled it. All the hooks are there. Look at the belly. Oh, we should have weighed the other one. Huh? We should have weighed the other one. Do you feel a bream or something? So it is like 80... 83, 84. Five. As you see, we enjoy some sun. It's getting a bit warmer, clearer sky. Maris has a good... 85 and there are some plants left in the pocket now we are enjoying that it's getting warmer hopefully this will activate the fishes nice, nice fish <laughs> what a strike man <laughs> we were just talking like he, he saw a fish fall ah, it's probably not the same fish i was like ah you should, you should have spot locked it he said ah, i'll continue <laughs> We move 10 meters further. Bam! <laughs> At the boat. <laughs> nice. It's a decent fish, fish, I think. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, it's not. <gasps> big. 
my heart is like, <laughs> did it again. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Bring it in, nice and fat. Not very, not huge, but give it a quick, quick measure. Quick, quick measure. Ah, oh, it is. It's 78. Beautiful fish, really fat. Nice one, and nice again and on the spinnerbait, on the maze runner. Yeah, perfect. Nice. If we get a 90, we'll weigh it. Yeah. But this is not gonna get the weight for sure, so. All right, let's put it back. First fish for me, on my lucky rod. This is the 128 rod. With the 128 bait. <sighs> this one always does it for me. Silver maze runner, 21 gram, size large, two blades with the nace predator as a trailer. It's perfect. Nice. It will be fine. Isn't it, Jonas? Oh, sorry, once again. One strike, one big pike, it's enough for today, yeah, definitely. right? Yeah, that's the, definitely. That's the target. All or nothing. Just aiming for that one big girl, hoping that she's in the mood soon. I'm pretty sure Kingfisher, Frap and Relax, the other guys, I think they fished uh, further north. Minimum one of them go for the numbers, so they will have some decent numbers in the boat, I think. Today it's a bit boring for us, but if we get one bike from the old lady, yep. then we have some serious trouble. So we come to a uh, new place here in the river. It's a little bit more structure, big boulders, big rocks. Uh, we're fishing between one and four meters again. And um, usually contains lots of, you know, good sized pike here. Not so many small ones. So not the numbers, but, uh, you know, good top five fish. Come on, this is crazy. This came out of nowhere. And of course, Hulken. This is a smaller one that our, our, it doesn't fit the paper, but still it's a pike and uh, a welcome one. So now we have number nine. We're still looking for that meter fish to approve the, the top five score. Soon the first episode is over. Yeah, it was okay, I would say. It wasn't near to, uh, not, not, not even what I expected. What, what do you think, what is the biggest fish caught now? I don't know, but uh, I bet somebody caught all, all over 110. I think the biggest one is 6.4. Oh, ah. so you don't believe in other teams. No. <laughs> Last cast before lunch report. Yeah. Make it count. I would have thought we catch uh, smaller fish, but I'm happy to for, for the for the bigger fish. But now we have to see how the lunch report goes. Yeah, very curious. If we go for the big fish or if we go for the numbers. Scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, we will see how it is for everyone and see how the fishing has been. For us, it's been quite okay. Hi, it's Team Hardy and Grace. Um, yeah, our day was, um, till yet, pretty tough. We have zero fish, but um, still time to get the big one. Good afternoon, everybody. Team Relax here. We've had a kind of a tough, horrible start to the day since the morning, but uh, we've had two bites all day and one nice fish, only 79 centimeters though. Hello, here's Team Bullseye with fuel in the tank of our boat again. As a side note, we caught four fish with a total length of top five of 152 centimeters. Here is Team Neistroft. We have a total of three fish and oh, the biggest, the big five is 161. Hey, that's Matthias from Team Kingfisher. We have in total four fish with a top five of 138 83. 83 sorry and the biggest one is 98 okay hello guys uh, it's team frap zetrix anton antonovich and robert walters uh, we have in total six fish and we have nothing to report for top five and for the big fish unfortunately Okay, it's team uh, Catch With Care. Uh, we have uh, three fish to report. Uh, the total on centimeters is 295 and the base fish is 9.2 kilo. 
All right, guys, uh, this is Team Jigar, uh, Bjorn and Jacob. Uh, we have a total number of 11 fish, uh, top five, four, four, two, and the biggest fish was five, four, and five. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Take care, be safe, okay? Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ja, det tror man här. Hallå! I just want to talk to you for a quick. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, because uh, it looks like uh, a mistake has been made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a monster. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, but that means our fish doesn't count. I stole your bike. <laughs> Thank you for making last year's final show at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair such a success. Now we will do it all over again, but this time it will take place on Saturday, March 16th. We will show the final episode at Krog och Company Bar and Nightclub in Central Jönköping. The after party will take place at the same venue. For more information, kanalgradis.se slash fly versus jerk.